So let's determine the cell potential. Uh, nickel is reacting with chlorine to produce nickel 2 plus chloride. If we were to break this up, we would see that nickel is being oxidized, it's losing two electrons, and chlorine is gaining, and so chlorine's being reduced to chloride. Chlorine is the oxidizing agent, that's what gets reduced. Nickel is the reducing agent, that's what gets oxidized. So this, we should remember that um, oxidation happens at the anode and reduction occurs at the cathode. And we want to determine the cell potential. The first thing we need to do is determine E0 for the cell. That would be under standard conditions, one molar. We're not at one molar. We got to deal with that. But we should remember that E cell equals E0 cathode minus E naught of the anode. So um, if we were going to look up the reaction on the table of electrode potentials, they'd be written this way. They're always written as reductions. So uh, nickel is 0.23 volts, and then chlorine Again, that's minus 0.23 volts for nickel and 1.36 volts for chlorine. So chlorine, we see, is a stronger oxidizing agent. It's more hungry for electrons than is nickel, too. Um, and so that's why chlorine has a higher voltage. Okay, so the e naught of the cell is going to be 1.36, that's chlorine, minus a minus 0.23 volts. So that equals 1.59 volts. That's E naught for this particular cell. But we're, that would be if we were at one molar all of our concentrations and we're not. So we need to use the Nernst equation which says that the E of the cell equals E naught minus 0.0592 divided by n. n is the number of electrons that are being exchanged log of q, which is the ratio of the, of the products over the reactants. We'll deal with that in just a second. So uh, therefore E cell, we just determined what E naught is, 1.59. Again, this is a spontaneous reaction because the voltage is positive. We're going to subtract this factor that takes into account different concentrations other than um, the one molar. So that's going to be 0.0592 divided by 2 because we're dealing with two electrons. And then we're going to take the log of Q, and Q, as you know, it's going to be reactants over products. So Q is going to be, I'm sorry, products over reactants. So chloride is 0.20 molar. Okay, so that's one of the products. And nickel 2, and that's going to be, we've got to square that because there's two chlorides. And nickel 2 is another product, and its concentration is 0.01 molar. Okay, so that's going to be the product of our products. And then uh, chlorine is one atmosphere, so that's going to be the pressure. 
and nickel, uh, the element, is going to be 1. We don't include that in Q. Okay, so Q, um, we'll go ahead and plug that in. So it's going to be 1.59 minus 0 0.0592 over 2. And the log of Q is minus 3.4. So we multiply that out and take the log of Q. So E cell is going to equal 1.59 minus a minus 0.101 and that's going to equal 1.69 volts. So our voltage actually goes up because we have a lower concentration of our products. That's going to shift the equilibrium to the right more. And so our voltage is going to go up. So the voltage for this cell is 1.69 volts.